Hey, yo, what up, what up? What's going What's on? What's up? What's up? Chilling, chilling, chilling. You know what I mean? Everybody, we got Telly fucking go on the pass and fly hour. Just started a lot, so we got some viewers. They're going to be coming in gradually. How you doing, though? You all right? You're over there on the west side. I'm good. I'm good. It's just, it's just unhealthy. Unhealthy. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say, ain't nothing to do. Ain't nothing to do. Hey, there ain't shit to do here either. I just ordered some pizza, got the 40 on deck, you know what I mean? That OE, just chilling out and shit. Damn, no. you know Damn, I mean? no. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, I don't know if you've seen any of our episodes before and shit. I mean, we usually do it on live and then we put on YouTube and whatnot. YouTube saying that our shit's too hot to handle and shit. They be hating on the nigga, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we just be, you know, having an hour-long interview, ask you about your story, talk about random shit. However, progresses, you know what I mean? But, um, ladies and gentlemen, we got Telly fucking go in the building, repping the West Side, California. What part of Cali are you from? I'm from the Bay. I'm from the Bay. Oh, North? All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I mean? So, you fuck with the Warriors? You're a Warriors fan? I, I, watch, I, I watch sports. Nah, nah. I really care for them. I really care for them. Yeah. 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 I feel you. I feel you. No doubt, no doubt. Well, let's, uh, Let's get started, though. Yeah, I mean, I think the audio is acting up a bit. Let me see if I can fix something real quick. Can you hear me well? Yeah. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you. I hear myself. I hear myself. I hear myself. All right. All right, but I think we can. All right, bet. So let's start. Let's start off with this. You know what I'm saying? You introduce yourself. And you know what I mean? We'll start from there. You know what I mean? The floor is yours. You know what I mean? Let the people know who... Who we have in the building right now? Ellie? Ellie? I'm going to be 20 seconds. I'm going to be 20 seconds. At the end of this. At the end of this. So I can't hear you that well, yo. You can't hear me? You can't hear me? Nah, it's choppy. It's all choppy and shit. By the way, everybody, Pass and Fly Hour is gonna be uh, is gonna be on Patreon now instead of OnlyFans. YouTube, YouTube be giving us a little bit of the issues because you know what I mean. We be having some explicit shit on the show. Um, I'm gonna update y'all later. But yeah, was you able to fix the audio? I, I couldn't hear you that well. I can't hear you now. Can't hear me now. A little bit better. It's just choppy. You know what I'm saying? It's probably it's probably service over here. Service over here. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Who you got, Metro PCS? To hell no. I got Metro to PCS. To hell no. Hey, you know what I mean? I, I ain't ashamed. Metro PCS be hating on the nigga, but it's all good. Yeah, here it do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't play me. The floor is yours. Don't play me. Don't play me. You good. Hey, I got Metro PCS. It's all good. You heard? It's all yeah, good. Yeah, no, look, look, look. Yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was old me. me. He dumped in my life. He dumped in my life. Hell yeah. No. Salute that. Salute no. that. Alright, but um were you born and raised in um in the Bay Area? No, I was born, like, no, I was born in Florida. I was born in Florida. But I was raised in the but I was raised in the I don't have no I don't have no childhood memories of childhood memories in Florida. I'm just the Bay Area. The Bay Area pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Wow. That's what's up. How um how was it like back in the day? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how was it as a young and all that in, in the Bay? Like, what could be different? I'm from Jersey. I'm from the Northeast. So, you know what I mean? Like, what's the difference between the Bay and everywhere else? You know what I mean? What would you say? I said pretty. I said pretty. Now we're going there. Now we're going there. The Bay is kind of like a little bit. So being like 12, so being 13, like 12, 13, 13, 13. And it, I didn't really yeah, do much. I didn't really do much. I stayed with them. I stayed with them. Everybody knows. But everybody knows. Everybody knows. Extra, 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 extra. I started drinking. I started drinking at thirteen. At thirteen. Yeah. Everybody was on. Everybody was on. Popping pills. Popping pills. Going to side shows. Going to side shows. All right. All right. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. I mean. Well, damn, I mean, like, 
I think, I think like when it comes to that shit, I didn't start partying until later and shit. But I, I knew my niggas and shit back in the day. They was getting high and shit, drinking early and shit. So I know how that is. You know what I mean? People be bringing vodka to school and shit, sipping on, sipping on Majorska at lunch and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, you sipping on what? Wait, you sipping on what? You know, sipping on cheap liquor in the water bottle at lunchtime at school and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> was you one of them kids like getting drunk and getting drunk at school and shit? That shit was fun. That shit was fun. Uh, I love getting. I love getting. Why? Why I started? Uh, why, why I started? Why I started? Why I started that, shit. That, that shit. That was fun. That was fun. Nigga was creepy. 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 Nigga was I'm gonna try to see what's up with the audio because I can't hear you that well. Okay. Hold up. Give me one second. Give me one second. Hold up. Oh. All right, we back. Hello? Oh, hold on one second. That's much better. Yeah, I had I had an app open on my phone. That's probably what happened. You had what? I had an app. Like a, a different app, it was open on my phone and shit. So I think that's what was interfering with the audio and shit. You know what I'm saying? So we good now. I can hear you much better now. Okay. I should have a closed out and make it for heaven. All right. Yo, that black light is lit, yo. Thanks. You got any, you got the glow in the dark posters and shit? I hope you do. At least one or a lava lamp or some shit. Uh, no, I don't. I don't actually. I I do have like this trippy little poster thing i don't know if it is for this type of shit i never seen it maybe i gotta get thrown down i don't fucking know you high as shit son i am high as shit. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you can't even hide that shit you high as fuck i ain't going I front am. i know what you're I just, you want it? I can't. I I woke up from a nap, feeling great, and was like, you know what? I need to smoke. I was just smoke and talk. Fuck it. Hell yeah, I'm with that. Where's born? I mean, like when it comes to that and shit. Funny story. I was just on tour. I was in L.A. like a week ago, and I flew to Atlanta to finish my tour, and I had a moon rock. And I was kind of shook if I should put it in my suitcase. I'm like, what if niggas like a TSA stop a nigga in, in baggage? I'm like, I'm going to just eat the shit. I'm telling you, when I got to Atlanta, I ate a whole moon rock. When I got to Atlanta, I was higher than a bitch. Like, I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even speak. Like, for real, like, that shit, that shit tasted bad too, but still. I'm sure. I was high. Uh, that just sounds like it. You you ate weed. You ate straight weed. Like what? You know You haven't eaten weed before? Like if the cops roll past and shit? You never ate weed before if the cops come through? Hell no. Nah. Well, you and Cali. It's a whole different world when it comes to weed and Cali. I, mean, I almost went to jail for two grams. Like a year ago in Jersey, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what? yeah, you're right. Because like the weed laws are different out here. But like even before like the weed became legal out here, like you just gotta be chill. At least from my experiences, I just was chilling. Like niggas was just rolling up in the whip, but the cops, even though they were on some like weird ass shit, they just pulled up on us talking about oh what are you guys doing here mind you we're just parked in the parking lot yeah. of a park why are you pulling up on me as if i'm doing something wrong like they circled around the bitch left came back and then pulled up on me it was like hey so what are you guys doing yeah. here da, 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 da. they're talking about they smell weed in the car we are rolling up but i'm like nah bro like we're not doing nothing da 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 and then they're just like, oh, what do you have in the trunk? I'm like, what? Mm. The f Why are you asking me what's in my fucking trunk? I'm like, nothing. Why? He's like, oh, well, there's just been a whole bunch of robberies around this area. So we're just making sure. And I'm just like, oh, hell no. Nah. No, this nigga is not. But he left. But they just, they, 
if you don't if you don't like be hella suspicious they might not be on your ass they may or may not be now they kind of are some dickheads so i will say that don't be in san jose that's all i gotta say don't be in san jose because they they some bitch ass niggas over there word i feel you i feel you i was out in santa monica where else was I at? North Hills, Inglewood. Shout out to Inglewood, well, by the way. That's the LA area. Mm-hmm. Huh? San Jose is up north. Yeah, that's in the Bay. San Jose. Yeah. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. I'm trying to hit San Jose for my tour in winter, in the wintertime and shit. No doubt. I mean, tell me though. Tell me some. Tell me something about you because when did you start getting into webcamming and porn? I got put onto you. Not that long ago. I think a little while ago. You know what I'm saying? Because me, I have a previous history in porn. I might have reached out to you to do videos and shit back in the day and shit. Because I think you, you've you been doing this shit for a minute, right? Yeah, I've been doing it for about like uh, since 2017. No doubt. Queen in 93 said, Telly, why you so fire? Why you so fire? I, I don't know. Uh, I wish I knew. Uh... Yo, thanks, though. I feel like I'm just shout out. pretty cool. Or shout out to Kobe Dad 2019 as well. Tune to the Pass and Fly Hour with Telly Fucking Go. But yeah, I mean, so you said 2017. Yeah, so 2017, I was living in Vegas, and like, shit was just pretty bad for me at the time. And uh, I was just like, Fuck it, I can't find work for three months. And that was like the weirdest thing for me. I'm usually usually quick with the jobs. So I'm like, you know what? I see all these women on here selling nudes. I'm going to see how this hits for me. Because there's been hella people already hitting my line. Talking about if you ever sold nudes, I would buy it. Da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So I just tweeted one day, I'm selling nudes. Hit my DMs. And I started getting customers. I was like, oh, all right. This, this, is, cool. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Things didn't really start, like, picking up until actually, like, this year. Like, I was I was making, like, a, a decent amount of money. But I was being hella stupid with shit. So, like, everything now has really came, like, full circle for me and just blew up out of nowhere, like, I've, I've been posting, like, slow-motion titty videos on my Twitter account. I don't think nothing of this shit. And then this one slow-mo video blew the fuck up on Twitter. I was like, oh, shit, what the fuck? And I had, like, a thousand-plus fans, and I was so thankful. I was like, oh, my God, like, bro, that shit, that shit changed everything for me. Yeah. Now it's like, this is where that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. I mean, I mean, what do you feel like is the uh, because I feel like this year was the year of OnlyFans, where it's like now it's like everybody making an OnlyFans, it seems. And it's like, what do you feel like is the climate of it now? Do you think like it's it's something now where it's like it's getting so popping that it's like it's at its peak or do you feel as if like it's always been like that it's just the public is realizing it now because every story that i hear from from all these different women is where y'all been like it's been you know what i mean <laughs> like we've been making money off this shit but it's like now more and more people are realizing that you know what i mean you could really make a good income off of this shit i i think i have i have like mixed feelings about this shit Cause it is just like, yeah, where where have you guys been at? But at the same time, I don't know these women. I don't know what they're going through and shit like that. It takes a minute for for someone to just be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm a I'm a put myself out there on the internet because m- people are so out of fucking line and always want to talk shit. I'm like, all right, you feel like making an OnlyFans? Do that shit, but don't waste your time because this is a lot to fucking do and a lot of people don't fucking realize it because they just they're thinking about just the money it's like nah it's more than just the money you got to deal with the customers you gotta you gotta take the time out of your day or how many other days like that 
There's a lot of shit. You got to invest in yourself. And if you're not willing to do that, why are you making the OnlyFans? Just leave it alone. Like, is it because it's being popular or are you really doing it? Because you like to do this. Word. So, I don't know. I, mean, I got mixed emotions about it. <laughs> I feel you. I'm going to ask you a random question. I went on your IG and I saw a mugshot. What'd you get bagged for? Oh, that shit. Okay, so I swear to you, every time I get locked up, it's for some stupid shit. It's because my dumbass don't be showing up to court or like, yeah, it's mainly because I just don't show up to court. So I had like speeding tickets or whatever. And Vegas, fuck Vegas, bro. I swear to God. If you do not pay your uh, fee like one time, Instantly, you're 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 fucking on warrant. You gotta pay like three hundred dollars on top of the fee and pay your fifty dollar fine. Like it's it's just it's stupid. It's so stupid. So I was like, man, fuck it. I ain't gonna pay that shit for a while. I'm not doing nothing. Right. Somebody thought that we were planning to rob their house. We were just smoking in this neighborhood. And they called the cops on us. So they were like, we just finished smoking. And he said, <laughs> he looked through the car. Like, he found he found some shit. Because it's not even our car, mind you. So there's, like, hella other shit in this whip. We already put hella shit in the car, in the, in the little glove compartment. But the other shit, we didn't fucking know about. I was like, what the fuck? Whatever. So... Motherfucker went down for that shit. I only went in for my fucking warrant. And then when they, um, that, that specific mugshot was because when they rebooked me, I was hella fucking mad. They're just like, cause I waited a whole hour. I was only in there for three days. I'm in there for a whole hour right. waiting to leave. These niggas is just talking about MMA, boxing, whatever. He goes to the computer and he's like, oh, you know you're about to be here for a few more days? Like, what the fuck? And I was just hella mad because I'm being rebooked. So that was my mugshot. I'm just in there for dumb shit. Missing court. But Damn. It was a cute mugshot, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you made that look good, though. You made that look good, though, for <laughs> real. Though. I was pissed. Oh, I was just fucking pissed the fuck off. Like... Damn, I bet. Like, how was it when you was? I mean, you was only in for three days, but it was like, you know, what I mean, it was, you know, what I mean, like, I anyone try to? But it wasn't that bad. Same. Like, I only just like that whole week was just like pure bullshit to me. I'm like, all right, bitches are weird. They're just fucking weird, and I'm just like, I keep to myself anyway. So I'm, I'm just here chilling. Bitches want to get mad at me over, over like. A piece of food, like bitch. It was getting mad. You, no one was trying to, you know, what I mean, trying to get some play. No one's trying to get some cutting. Fuck no, I'm glad because all the bitches was ugly as shit. If I'm gonna fucking our own god, but let me spend, let me spend a month in jail. I would fuck a bitch, right? But the bitch gotta be cute. Cause every time that I've been in that bitch, ain't no cute bitch. Ain't no cute bitch. And that pisses me off. Because I'm like, damn, orange is a new black is fake. I mean, it is fake. But, you know, it's just fake, fake. Ain't, ain't not one decent bitch. Right. <laughs> For real? <laughs> there, there, ain't no, there ain't no cute women inside in the pot. Like, not, not out they here. Gotta be not like out here. Meth heads. That's, who want to fuck with a meth head? Not I. I feel you. Uh, fuck no I mean, eyebrows having ass bitch. Bitch ain't got no pinky toenail. Like, man. I'm good. No pinky toenail. I'm good. Oh, shit. Bruh. Lord, I feel you. Bruh. I feel you. Ugh, now, bruh, now, oh, now I'm just like getting into my whole mind. But this meth coochie probably tastes disgusting. See, and I don't be. That's, no, I'm good. Where well, you right? That coochie probably tastes kind of, kind of stank. You know what I'm kinda saying? Stank, no, that shit stank. That shit, that shit stank. That shit oh, stank like the chemicals it, it got. Like, ugh, I can't. <laughs> chemicals. Ugh. Yeah. 
No doubt, no doubt, man. Shit. I mean, tell me, though, like, when it comes to this with the webcam, because I, I checked out your Twitter and all that, too, in addition to your IG and all that. Do you have any interest at all delving into, like, you know what I mean? Like, let's say, let me say this. Like, let's say if if someone from Bang Bros or from Black or some shit were to holler at you or if Pinky were to holler at you and just be like, hey, yo, you know what I mean? I got, like, two stacks for you to be in my in my next video on my site. Would you delve into mainstream porn? Pinky, I think the one that gotta hit me up. Everybody else, no, because like I don't I don't wanna work with the men in that industry. Cause like I'm just I'm very particular and I don't I can't just I can't just fuck a dude just because mm -hmm. it's it's for this scene. Like fuck that shit. I'm I'm very personal now, so Pinky hit me up. I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, because Pinky Pinky could strap me down. You feel me? She want to do that for a scene. I'm I'm all for it. She started a whole genre with that shit. No cap. That's oh god, she did. But or shout out to who is the eight one eight by the way. You know what I mean? Popping artist out of Southern California. You know what I mean? His new album Valley Boy is out now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to who was day one eight you in the past fly hour, y'all, with Telly fucking go. But anyways, you said you said that you would fuck with Pinky only. Yeah, like it, it, it would have to be like certain certain women of the industry to hit me up for me to want to work with them. Yeah. Or work for the for a company or do something. I kind of would go into mainstream porn, but I don't know. I kind of like being where I'm at because People know who I am, but they don't know who I am type shit. Like, yeah. people, like, I don't, I like that I can just, you know, be, be chilling out here in the Bay. And maybe one or two people know who the fuck I am. But once that shit starts to really, like, float around, people start seeing me more. <laughs> I feel you. How does that happen, though? Like, Tell tell me a story. Like, how does that happen? Like, where let's say like you're at the mall or like you at Fridays with your friends just having drinks at the bar, and someone is just like, "Hey, yo, you Telly?" Like, it, is it like that? Like, how does it happen? Like, okay. how's that shit happen? One day, one day I'm at this club. It's like re it's reggae night, right? I'm high oh. as fuck in that thing. It's my first time that I ever went, so I'm high as fuck. I'm watching my homegirl dance and all her friends dance. I'm just just smiling, having a grand old time. And somebody just walks up to me and was like, are you, are you Telly fucking, uh, Telly? I'm like, Telly fucking go? He's like, yeah. What you doing here? Why? In my mind, I'm like, nigga, the fuck you mean what am I doing here? Like, what? It's like asking, it's like me asking you, what are you doing here? Obviously, you wanted to come here because it's. Yeah. We put the dance and shit. I don't know. I hate rhetorical questions. Like, I feel like the question. Yeah. But I was yeah. just like, oh, you know, I'm just here, you know, just with my friends. He's like, oh, okay. Da, da, da. And then that was that. It was just kind of awkward, too, because it's like. He wants some cutty. He don't, wanted, don't he? <laughs> you know, it's like he wanted to stay and probably have more conversation, but I just blew that shit off because I don't like talking in clubs. I can't fucking hear. I mean, I can hear you, but I can't fucking hear you. And I don't want to. I want you to say, huh? Huh? But, yeah. No, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Or some people, they say that they saw me in public and then DM me. Hey, I saw, That's you, a I saw you here. I'm like, why don't you just come up to me instead and say hello like a human being? But all right. Oh, this one person has walked up to me while well, I was in my car, actually. That kind of scared me because I was like, um, why are you just... But he did it on the passenger side of my whip, so that was at least nice, but still no. And he was just like, oh, do you, do you still sing? And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, not really. But You sing? Yeah, I do. A little bit. Where you have records out? No, I, I don't. I have like covers out on YouTube. I don't. Those are like very old. Like 
very old. Somewhere like two years ago or like four years ago. I don't really get on my YouTube page. I'm going to this this time because now I'm going to be home a lot more. I can probably focus on that shit. But yeah. it's not really like a like a thing for me like it used to be. It's just a hobby. Like It's like karaoke, you know, like karaoke time. That's what it is for me. When you sing, like, is it more along the lines of, like, a Mariah Carey or more along the lines of, like, a, I don't know. Is it, like, like, do you be, like, singing, like, on some Whitney Houston shit where it's, like, you know what I mean? Where it's, like, goddamn, tear to your eye. Or do you just be going with the beat, like, on some, you know what I mean? I'm, like, an Erica Badu type shit. I fuck with that. Yeah. I'm, like, a, okay. like a neo-soul type, type vibe. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. All right. So you went to Neo Soul. That's what's up. Erica Badu is dope. I'd love like, her. Love. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Danger. I mean, who was um, Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. I interrupted you. What you like, That's all Danger. Fire. Mm -hmm. Fire. Top Whoa. three. For my, for my favorite songs by her own God. Uh, all right, what were you going to say? What kind of loud you smoking on right now, though? Uh, I got to say, I make some killer-ass brownies. I got the whole block high a summer ago, dead ass, no cap. You know what I mean? I make the best weed brownies you'll ever have in life. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? Bad, do you ship them? <laughs> niggas... I'll try. I mean, Jersey... Listen, the cops out here be like the Power Rangers, dead ass. Like, <laughs> like I'm not even going front. I, I, these cops, they they do, yo, they do not play out here. You know what I mean? But I'll definitely try. You know what I'm saying? But um, but when it comes to music, when it comes to the music shit, though, like, how do you feel about music out nowadays? Like, I heard there's like Ari Lennox, Summer Walker, like you into them with the R and B shit. I Ari Lennox goes hard as hell. I fuck with Ari Lennox. I love Ari Lennox. Her voice is just. She lit. Yeah. Butter, butter, melt, melt that shit all on my motherfucking everything on my French toast. I love it. I love it. It's it's nice. But Summer on my Walker. Toast. I've been getting I've been getting into Summer Walker a little bit more lately. Um, it took me a minute. Like, like when people are hella hyped about someone, I don't really mm. pay attention to it because I'm like, uh, I'll wait. But Summer Walker, she's she slab. She got some slabbers. I I fucks with it. I fucks with it. Janae Aiko. Shout out to Chief. Yeah, Kimi. Janae, Chief bro. Janae's angelic, angelic. She really is. But this is the only reason why I won't listen to her. It's because, like, I don't like being always in my fucking feelings. So I don't listen to a lot of these artists because I don't like being in my feelings all, all like that. And Janae, she she gets me there. She gets me there because she knows what she's doing in this fucking music by by having it at a certain fucking like key and shit. So it taps in with she knows the how to write yeah. yeah. She he knows she's perfected the art of making songs. She knows how to write songs. Yeah. You're right. And they, Core progression. Be playing, be playing with me. And I ain't got the time to just <laughs> how my villains be played with. Honestly, I'm not going front. I think Janae Aiko is probably responsible for a few kids being made in the past few years. You know what I'm saying? Her music is probably <laughs> responsible for some baby making. Probably. You know what I mean? I ain't front. Probably. I would not be surprised. Shit. It's like, it's like, it's like. It's like Word. Okay, somebody. Damn, she kids is coming with all these suggestions, my nigga. Like, you got a, you got a playlist, my nigga? Like, you know, all these artists. You said what? No, um, Chief Kimp, he's saying all these artists' suggestions and all that. Um, and I'm like, you got to start a podcast or something. Not a podcast, a playlist or something. But pardon me, what were you saying? You were saying something? I forgot what the fuck I was saying because somebody tried to FaceTime me. And I'm like, who the fuck? Um. 
Where you got a you got a playlist? Holla at me. DM your boy. Dose do money. D O S D U M U N I. You heard? Yeah, I'm high as hell for getting what the fuck I was just talking about. That's crazy. You gotta pass some of that weed over here though. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot to answer that question. It's velvet candy. That's what it's called. Melon candy? No, velvet candy. Velvet. Oh, it probably tastes sweet. It's sativa. That's all I know. Yeah, sativa all day. Indigo is all right, but I, I'd rather be energetic when I'm high. I'd rather have that shit, you know wait, what I mean? Wait, I'd rather be cool. It's indica. Because I said to put your ass to sleep. It's not fucking sativa. It's indica. All right, you can take your ass to sleep. Me, I, I'd like to be awake when I'm high. I like to L rod. I'm I'm like a veteran L rider. Like, I'll smoke a blunt or I'll eat an edible with some sativa. Or what's it called? Sativa. I'll ride down to the corner store. You know what I mean? Right. I'll do my laundry high and shit. I'll hit the liquor store, get me a 40, do my laundry while drinking on a 40 and shit. I'm surprised I still haven't been apprehended by the authorities doing that shit. Yo ass <laughs> loves 40s. Say what about 40s? Like this 40s? is all I feel. Yeah, I mean, hard liquor be fucking my stomach up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Is, like, it, I, is it in the, in the, in the plastic bottle? Hell yeah, because this is... <laughs> you about to laugh. This shit is a 42 ounce. This is old English. You know what I mean? Yeah, so they got the 42 ounce shit. So there's a liquor store down the road. Get that shit for 250 Get about two of them joints. You'll be good for the day. Have one, you know what I mean? Have another few hours later, you'll be lit all day. I don't like getting too drunk. I'd rather just smoke a blunt, sip a 40, and bull out. You know what I mean? So what? Do they have the glass version? Nah. They don't have... They don't even have the glass version on the west side. I was in Inglewood, and right before I took my flight to L.A., no, right before I took my flight to Atlanta from L.A., I was like, let me get me a 40 ounce. Let me get me some O.E. So I went to, you know, Randy's in Inglewood next to LAX? I don't be in L.A. like that, so I don't know shit. <laughs> I feel that. I pulled up. I pulled up to the... I pulled up to the liquor store in Inglewood. I'm like, all right, do they have the glass OE or the plastic? They had the plastic. Same shit out in my hood. You know what I mean? And got that shit for that 250. Got me a little lit. Ate me that fucking moon rock. Got to Atlanta. Higher than a bitch. But, you know. But let's talk about, let's talk about the porn again, though. Because I have a question for you. Okay. What's the wildest scene that you've done yet? Um, everything that I've done that's pretty wild is not on camera, honestly. But, like, I, I would say, like, video-wise, I guess it's, uh, this face fucking video. It's hella old. It's, like, back from, like, 2018 when I was with, uh, my ex. And that shit, it was a pretty brutal face fucking, but it was great. Like, I kind of like threw up a whole bunch of like spit it wasn't like yak but it was still just like that shit was i would say that's the most wild video for my for my shit do you do things because you just mentioned how you do wilder things off camera so that pretty much answers my next question so essentially you don't over exert yourself when you're on camera essentially it's like what you see is what you get on camera. Like, are you just like gonna film what you're in the mood to film? Yes. So if I'm if I'm like filming with a partner, it's definitely like we're in the mood. He fuck he said fuck it, grabbed his camera, recorded that shit, and that's that. Cause I've learned that's when doing this, like trying to plan it, it fucks up my sex life just because I'm like planning to have sex I'm planning to do this and do that and it's like not take away the natural part of it you know what I'm saying yeah yeah I feel you I feel you do you enjoy women more than men yes definitely I definitely do mm. Love my you use toys huh do you use toys more often than not? Um, 
That depends on the bitch. I don't come through with the toys or nothing. I got my mouth and hands. I'm, I'm good. Like some females, yeah. they they want to have toys to do that shit. Cool, but I prefer. Okay. I just want that bitch mouth. Like I'm, I'm a very. If I want like the penetration shit, I'm gonna get that from a nigga. I don't want it from a bitch, more or less. Like sometimes I do. But very rarely, very rarely. Word, I feel you, feel you, I feel you. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I understand what you're saying. That makes a lot of sense, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about orgies? Like, have you ever been in an orgy before? Like, group sex? Like, what's your take on that? Um, I'm, I'm all for it. I've never been in it. Would like to, like. Be in one, see it happen, all that shit. I feel like that shit's fine. I'm pretty, I'm pretty open about sex. Like I've always wanted to go to those fucking like sex clubs and shit, but the Rona hit, so that's lovely. Couldn't even fucking go. And Work. if they start to open up, I'm definitely not going anytime soon. Psst. Fuck that, motherfuckers! My pass around the Rona in that bitch, trying to, trying. To, Get a nut off. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fucking good. Hell yeah, that Rona shit. Hell yeah. Honestly, I think that Rona, that Rona shit probably ain't gonna go anywhere anytime soon and shit either. You know what I'm saying? Like, how has how has business been for you since the Rona hit though? Like, has it increased because people are home more often now? Um. Yeah. It's, I feel like yes and no. It's kind of like, it's, it's been the same that it's been for the last few months. Nothing has really changed. So, I'm not really tripping though. Like, I'm still making, yeah. I'm still making a lot more than what I was making. So, that all that shit, I'm just like, all right, cool. If it, if it goes down a little bit, it's not even that much. So, it's just like, it's yeah. I got the consistent money now, and that's all I know. Yeah. I feel you. Business has just been steady, and hasn't even has really went up. Yeah, it's just pretty much steady, pretty steady. No doubt. Well, let's bring this up because you know what I mean. I know a lot of our fans out there who may already know of you know that your body is, you know, what I mean, something to behold. You know what I mean. And um, when it comes to your breasts and all that, what size are you? I'm an F cup. F cup? Mm -hmm. All natural as well, right? You haven't had any work done? Nope. All natural. Y'all hear that, fellas and ladies? Yeah. Tell you fucking go all natural. all natural. Let's also... Hell yeah, all natural. You know what I mean? Kobe Dad 2019 put the, the triple peaches. <laughs> okay, we got the triple peaches. <laughs> <laughs> salute, salute. Um, let's, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, promote the, uh, the, the Venmo. We also have pop it for T P O P I T F O R T and the only fans for Miss Telly fucking go for all of y'all who want to see exclusive content from the lady that we have right here. It is Telly T E L L Y D A G the number zero, not the letter. O. the number zero. E R T E L L Y D A G zero E R. All right. Now, um, now tell me, like, you know, what I mean, you have a beautiful body that doesn't need to be said. Um, but besides that, you have a personality. What would you say sexually when it comes to what attracts people to you, other than your physical assets? What about your personality and your energy? What do you give forth that you feel like is the most attractive? Oh. You know what? I think it's comfortability. I, I hear this a lot from everybody. Like, I just make everybody so comfortable around me that they just, it, they just end up becoming very, very attracted towards me. Yeah. I'm like, I could be your best friend. 
I could be so much more. Motherfuckers just just dig that type of shit. I think it would be fun as fuck to smoke a blunt with you and the L ride to In N Out Burger or some shit. Man, I'd rather go. Okay, look, we we gonna eat. If we gonna eat, motherfucker, we gonna eat. Okay, some motherfucking tacos. Okay. We gonna You gotta show me the taco spot. Oh god, bro. Slide out here to the bay and uh we gonna go to a fire ass Mexican spot. We just gonna go to fire ass food spots because I just I love to eat. I love to eat. I'm with it. Like, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. And if you come to Jersey, I'll show you the best pizzerias. Because Jersey is known for its pizza. Just as much as Brooklyn, arguably. You know what I'm saying? Okay, how, so I'll show what you. What type of style of pizza y'all got? We got the uh we got the what's it called? Shit, I don't even know the fucking name. You know how like Chicago has deep dish? We got like the flatbread, I guess it's called or whatever. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like Italian home style, I guess, whatever you would call it. But okay. Jersey pizza is good. So, you know what okay. I mean? Shout out to so, like a regular people. style pizza. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so what's what's special about it? the cheese, the sauce, the 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 crust? The crust, yeah, the, the crust. Okay. The crust and all that, you know what I mean? But you know, Jersey is dope. You know what I mean? Jersey is a different kind of state. You know what I mean? Have you ever been to the East Coast, like New York or like Atlanta, Philly, I've been, Jersey? I've been to Virginia when I was fifteen. I was there for a month. How'd you like Virginia? Shout out to VA, by the way. How'd you like Virginia? I was 15. I fucking hated it. I couldn't do nothing. <laughs> I didn't know where the fuck I was. They wouldn't let me hang out with people, but the family, and I'm going to church. Like, every time they're going to church, that's Sunday, fucking Tuesday, Thursday. Like, I'm like, I don't, I don't do these uh, things. Yeah, I don't do Word. I don't do none of those things. So and it was hot, 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 humid. Oh, you was out there in the summertime. Yes, it was August. It's that fucking humidity kicked my ass. I Yeah. The one thing I did enjoy, though, was <laughs> was the was how much like scenery is out there i love like because it was like being in cali but bigger i guess or like just like more more trees and shit like they had some houses yeah. on the property that was pretty fire it just it put it in my head like all right this is this is what i want exactly surely like that that's nice that virginia is nice for that shit but uh i never want to be there for a long time only time I've been in Virginia, I'm good. I feel you. I feel you. Listen, what we're going to do now, all right, because we down to the uh, the last, like, 10 or so minutes, right? What we're going to do, number one is I want you to say whatever you want to say when it comes to promoting your brand because you have a brand that I feel like, in my opinion, I think you're underrated. I think you need more followers. I think if Pinky sees this, she should give you that bag and put you on her site. I think, you know what I mean? That'll be lit. And, um, yeah, the floor is yours. And then I got a surprise for you afterwards. So the floor is yours. All right. Give all the links and all that. Well, all right. So my, my motherfucking Twitter, Instagram is Monstrous69. So it's kind of like, like the hormone monster shit from Big Mouth. Yeah. That's my shit. Monster 69. Uh, OnlyFans, I got two of them, but the one that I use the most is definitely the Telly the Goer. It's right there. The T-E-L-L-Y-D-A-G-0-E-R. And there's a Telly fucking Go. That's the one I use the least, but it has all my old shit. So it's up to you. You want to do the old shit? Go for it. You want the new shit? Definitely do that shit. Uh, got my Venmo. Fucking pop it for tea. You want that Apple Pay? You gotta hit my DMs and shit. I do some on videos. Personally, if you don't want to sign up for anything, I do live shows. That's pretty much it. 
You do live shows? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know you did live shows. Yeah, we have right. like personal live shows for motherfuckers. I feel like that's, I like it that way instead of doing like cami. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. You, you. you get, I feel like I make better money doing that shit. And it's, it's personal, you feel me? Hell yeah. Motherfuckers get to get whatever the fuck they want, you feel me? You have a certain type of fetish, we, we can make it happen. Whatever the fuck you want, you feel me? I do got my limits, but... We here. We here. I'm for the people. You're that. Fellas and ladies, keep it respectful. Telly will, you know what I mean, work with y'all. Live shows as well. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, that's what's up. I got a surprise, as I said before, Telly. You know what I'm saying? You ready? Okay, what's the surprise? Every guest that I have on my show, I ask them five questions, and they have to answer to the best of their ability. You know what I'm saying? This is the no bullshit segment. Okay. Even though it's been no bullshit from the rip, we about to go into double time, no typo. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right. First thing that comes to mind with these questions: top three favorite albums, regardless of genre. Okay. Oh, I answered this today. It's definitely um, Hybrid Theory, Lincoln Park, Baduism. Hell yeah! I fuck with you. All right, keep going. Baduism, of course, and motherfucking. Uh, Oh, what was my third one? It always fucking changes. Uh, you know what? It's because it's right here. Yeah, Mood Ring my, is Maya's album. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to Maya. The Queen Maya as well. Hell yeah. I love her. All right, next question. Hell yeah. Next question. If you were to wake up in a spaceship finding out that you were abducted by aliens, what would you do first? Yeah. I'll, I'll probably wake up in shock. <laughs> I'll wake up in shock. <laughs> <laughs> That's thing, a good The right? <laughs> first thing I'm going to do is just lay there like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's, that's the first thing I'm going to do. That's, there you go. All right. All right, no doubt. All right, next question. What 90s sitcom would you be a guest star in for one episode? Ooh. Ooh, that's a, that's a good one. That 90s sitcom. I definitely would be in, like, some cartoon. Yeah, I feel like I'll be in a cartoon. So does that count? No. Yeah, we can be. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see myself. I don't see myself. Uh, you can be a cartoon. Uh, let's see. Um, I could definitely see myself in motherfucking. Um... Oh my god. You know, what? Mo monsters is—is is that what that shit was called? Monsters. I real monsters. You said what? Is that what you said? You talking about the show with that red bunny rabbit ass nigga? Yeah, and that nigga had the eyes. Oh, I real monsters. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> he was holding them. He was holding his eyes with his hands and shit. Yeah, yeah I, I can see myself. Yeah. I'm so weird. All right. <laughs> Yo, what kind of weed you smoking, Telly? I, I, I need, I need me a bone of that shit. You gotta ship that shit to me. Yo. I'm gonna give you my daddy dog. It's called, it's called velvet candy. I don't know if it's in, it's if it's in the shop right now. You feel me? I don't have no plug. I just go to the, the fucking dispensary. Plugs out here sometimes. You just. They pissing me off. They need to do that. After you. After you. Oh, shit, my lighter. Okay. All right. Um, We have two more questions left. Okay. Next one. Ass or titties? I love ass. I'm an ass man. 
里面 s s s s s。哎哎哎，别别别 ！All right, question number five. Does size matter? Yes. Size matters. Yes. I bet. No doubt, no doubt. Size matters. All right. Most definitely. Respect, respect. Yo, dead ass that Aro Master shit. Y'all. Yo, you got me for a second. I'm like, damn, she did actually said Avril Monsters, my nigga. Like, god damn, that's just some real shit. What else? What else do you have to say in regards to your brand when it comes to Telly Fucking Go? Because you dropped the links. I want y'all to know that she is the truth. She's all natural. F cups. Beautiful woman. Repping Cali. You know what I'm saying? What else you got to say about your brand, Telly? You know what I mean? Um, shit. Uh, my shit's pretty... I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't know. Because I, I never really, like, promote my shit. I'm really not even friend. Like, my shit, I just post videos, like, little clips, and there it is. But most of my shit, if you like, like, hairy content... I got that type of shit because there's days motherfuckers just don't want to fucking, you know, shave that shit off or wax that shit off. I'm your girl. Bush gang. Bush gang in the building. You know, I'm your girl. I'm that, that, push, that shit, my bush be fire on top of that. So motherfuckers into it, I'm your girl. But sometimes I, you know, sometimes you got that bald shit. Um, just... If some people expecting like some super wild shit, like farting or whatever, I'm not your girl. I'm. I don't know. I don't know about the farting shit. Yeah, yeah. there's some people, people who are really into that, so you know, I'm not the one. But everything else, um, I got it. I got it on my shit. I don't really have a oh. uh, boy girl content. It's a very very like. I like a few videos up there, you know, I'm trying to see that God God six thousand is up there. And, and yo, check it out. You know what I mean? I, I'm part of Eat a Booty Gang. I'll eat a hot girl's ass, but if you fart, I'm pinching your thigh, nigga. I'm gonna pinch the shit out your thigh, nigga. You know, I'm playing. You won't be like, oh! I'm yeah, like, that's, yeah, that's just that's farting shit, in my face, nigga. Line, yeah, no, any anybody fart because I yeah I eat ass too. Feel <laughs> me? Like, ain't no. Oh, y'all yeah, eat a bad bitch's ass, but if she farts, I'm pinching your thigh, nigga. Anybody fart in my goddamn face? I'm not pinching your thigh. I'm punching you straight in your motherfucking gut, like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, picture seeing that. <laughs> Yo, picture seeing some people like fucking and like someone is like eating a girl's ass. Like one girl's eating another girl's ass, and the chick farts in her face, <laughs> and the girl punches him. <laughs> it becomes a fight. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I had your boy. Well, that's your funny as hell. You ain't have to do it in my face. Oh, if you, oh, it's like everybody knows when they feel a fart coming. So how the fuck you just gonna say it's on accident? Bitch. Complete disrespect. That's complete disrespect. Yeah. No cap. Oh, God. Complete you, don't, disrespect. you don't respect me. <laughs> you don't respect, <laughs> you don't respect me, motherfucker. Farting in my face and shit, nigga. Oh, God. That shit for you said. Was, it's over. Don't ever, don't ever in your fucking life type shit like come in my life again. We fighting. It's on site every time. Like, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> like, yo, and if someone asks you, hey, yo, like, why y'all beefing? Because the bitch farted in my face, nigga. I would have to laugh. I, I'd be like, yo, like, word. I ain't mad at you. Shit. Telly, listen, man. You're officially the homie for being a part of the Passive Fly Hour. I first want to say thank you. You know what I'm saying? No problem, man. Thank you for having me on this shit. Hell yeah. And the next time I'm on the west side, I'm going to definitely give you a call. We're going to get high as a motherfucker. And you're going to show me the poppinest Mexican food spots around your hood and all that. You know what I mean? 
Better it up, better it up. Yeah, I'm fucking with you. Um, this is the passive fly hour, y'all. Just letting you know that we are going to be moving our brand to Patreon because YouTube is hating on us, saying that we bring in too hot for content content or whatever. They're saying that we got women showing their titties and shit on our YouTube, and oh. they're about to ban us and shit. Y'all make this cat. So if you wanted to flash, you could right yeah, now, but no, I wouldn't suggest fuck? it if you want to be on YouTube. Shit. Y'all think they, you better subscribe to they, my shit and try to see them titties and be on my Twitter, you feel me? No, I'm just saying. You know, heard I'm going to I'm gonna be watching y'all shit to see the titties, okay? Ass and all that. Hey. I'm going I'm gonna to be watching. Hey. Hell yeah, YouTube, you better do it now because YouTube is taking our shit down by the day. You know what I'm saying? They ain't playing no games. But if y'all want to see Telly fucking goes F cup titties, I've seen them. They're beautiful. You know what I mean? Make sure that you check out the links. You know what I mean? And show her love and support. You know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? She the real deal. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Telly, I want to say thank you again. And we're going to keep in touch and we're going to keep this shit elevated. You know what I mean? I bet. Thank you. You're welcome. And keep some of that velvet candy for me. I don't fuck with Indica that much, but but uh, I'll I'll make a pardon for that. And, you know what I mean? We'll get high. You heard? Yeah, I'm going to try this shit. This shit almost done for. <laughs> hey, yo, don't. <laughs> whatever, whatever, dog. All right, I'm going to holler at you. Right. I'm going to holler at you, all right? Bye. All right, be safe. All right, love. All right.